Yes, it's your boy J Nick 12. We're here um, at PS 298 ECMS, um, getting ready to, um, to to get it in. Uh, but we just want to make a couple of announcements. Uh, we have on um, April 7th. We're gonna be out here at the playoffs starting. We got four teams rocking out on the 14th, which is Sweet Sunday. We're gonna have pie. We're gonna have cake. My son Jeremiah come through with two red velvet cakes, and we rocked out one for them uh, on Sunday for uh, Mr. Lewis. Um, celebration with the family and it was a hit everybody was loving it and wanting some more so just come out and support us come out and let's rock out let's have a great time um i'm, I'm pastor j pastor j nick 12 um anytime you need us my man mario you can reach him through get me through him we here to pray for you pray with you support you back you it's all about community it's your boy j nick 12 and i'm out what's up Marge? trying to get an uh, uh, officiating class for young high school students. The majority of the referees that came from Brooklyn, Saboa, Iable, Ward 37, uh, I taught the class for 16 years, so trying to get something started back up with the Department of Education. And the young people that are interested in, in, the, in the career and officiating, it's a great avocation to have. How can, you, how can you do research? Should they call me? What should what they do? They, they, they can email me at rhaskins2school.nyc.gov. What are you doing for Easter? We're going to be having a tournament right here in this gym. What day on Easter? On uh, Easter is a day. Yeah, yeah, I know, but that's a Sunday, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but we'll be here during the week. The week as well? Yeah. Okay, so I look forward to seeing you, okay? All right. Thank you. So you say you're going to get me? Hey man, we out here today uh, with our Bengals, our Brownsville Collaborative Bengals. They're coming out here, uh, getting ready to get this game on. And because of that, we got my man uh, Mario here rocking out with us today. We're going to hopefully come away with a win. We're just going to have a little fun. We're going to have a little excitement and a great competitive game. With your boy Jay Nick, Pastor Jay, Pastor Nicholson, be here ready to rock out. Now, you going to follow me real quick?
good game, guys. Display sportsmanship, play hard, and win. And can you tell everybody who you are for those who don't know? I'm Coach Plummer. And how, can Coach a kid, how can a kid be a referee? First of all, they got to learn the game. They learn the game many and different ways. And be good ways. at math, right? Yeah. Well, math is a good part of it. It is a big part of it. But, but learn the rules of the game. Yes, sir. You can learn the rules of the game in so read. many different ways. Yes, but most importantly, that, learn sir? how to read, write, speak, all that. Okay. But you got to give a shout out to anybody in your family, coach, anybody that helped you? Shout out to the entire community because it takes a community to raise all our children. Thank you so much, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. You better make this layup. You better not, you better not miss it. Or you're going to side down. You better get that rebound. <laughs> support the sale tournament. Uh, I know Coach has the close plumber. They put the set together something great. Yeah. So I, we just came as you know to support the event. Would you like to add anything, sir? Well, I think I think my brother said it all, right? This is scholar athletes and leadership. It's not just what you do on the court, but off the court is just as important. But on the court is up there too, right? So you got to give these young brothers and ladies, right, an opportunity to play, release some of that, you know, energy they built up in school. Stay out of trouble, do something positive. It's positive all around. Um, hats go off to Coach Haskins and Coach Plummer for all they're doing with Sam. Stop. Thank you, sir. Peace and blessings, family. Another day above ground. I'm here rocking out in Brownsville. Never ran, never will. It's a beautiful day to be here. It's a Monday. Came out to show love to Pastor Jay. He made the red velvet cake for my event. And I'm just one of those kind of guys. You're not going to outdo me. You're not going to outwork me. So I made sure I took the time, made the time to be here and support. And just like I'm here, if you'd like me to come out to your event, remember, one hand washes the other, and both hands wash the face. I'm not as young as I look, so give me a call. Give me one second. I'm on the mic. I'm on something. Give me a second, young. So again, thank you once again to all the powers that be. These kids, they, don't, they lack the respect. 646-548-5881. 646-548-5881. Uh, or just hit me on my uh, Instagram. Uh, don't ask for no money, okay? Uh, just keep it simple, plain, and easy. Come on out, Chinese easy peasy. Until the next video, take care of yourself mentally, physically, financially, and spiritually because everybody has an expiration date. <laughs> we'll be right back after this small break finding out what's going down here in Brownsville at PS298, a.k.a. Dr. Betty Shabazz, Gregory Jocko Jackson. Rest in peace. Okay. Okay, so I am Joe Morris, co-owner of Brunch Harlem. We're coming to you guys live from the experience, curated by no other than DJ Steph. I am here with Janelle, asking her how she feels about the brunch experience and what she thinks about the show. What does Renaissance mean to you, Janelle? Everything just legendary. Renaissance, Harlem, everything extraordinary. I love that. And what do you think about your experience here today at Brunch Harlem? It's, I have to go to work. I'm about to call out. It's Beyonce holiday, so I'm feeling great. It's a great vibe, great people, excellent food and drinks. I'm stuck here. All right. Going back to you, as she said, Brunch Harlem is the place to be, and the real signs of brunch is making her release her stress and possibly her job. That's it with me today here at Brunch Harlem. Again, my name is Joe Morris, co-owner of Brunch Harlem. Make sure you come and rock out with us, period. Hold on a second. Okay, there you go. Introduce yourself. Um, I'm Mia, and I really like, I didn't even want to come here today, but my mom told me to come. So I wouldn't even have won this if I didn't want to come. Because I would have had, because I was planning to so like I was even gonna win this and I thought like the raffles were just gonna be about book bags and stuff but no I want a whole skateboard 
And that's crazy. I feel amazing. Like that's wild. It's just thank you. Thanks for the skateboard. All right, thank you, officers. Thank you, officers, for doing this. Well, thanks to everyone for doing this. I'm really happy for this skateboard. I don't not know what to say. Maybe my mom never buy me a skateboard. My mom would have never bought me a skateboard. I don't know how to use a skateboard. Thank you. Thank you. I think he was really good, and he actually like was really funny, made jokes, and I think it was a really good thing, and it was really fun.
shot at your mind. And you need to follow through. I don't care what country you come from. And you need to breathe. You can do this.
Good shot, good shot. Two shots coming. All right, thank you, thank you, Larry. Thirty-two on the line. Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson on the line. Magic. Magic Johnson, thirty-two. Uh, graduating from City College in New York. Lau came, Lau Woods came after me, and we're glad to be here. God bless. What's well, hold on, man? Okay. Thank you, and God bless. Reporting from Riverside Park with Mario and company. We're just keeping up what we've been doing all these years. Okay, these guys, some of these young guys don't realize how important it is at an early age to start getting the manly recreational that they need. Okay, this is part of it. This is only one third of it. Staying in shape is number two. Okay, but the bottom line is to continue to continue. I'm 72. Okay, still playing ball with the 40 year old boys. Okay, it's a powerful feeling, I gotta tell you. A very powerful feeling. 
Okay? And as long as you stay in shape, you can still do it. You get out of shape, you're done. You might as well hang it up. So that's the formula that I use to play till I'm 72. Okay, between the bike, the basketball, and the weight room, I can't go wrong. I'm gonna live to be 100. I might live forever. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Taylor, is your hero? Was my hero? Yeah. Well, I, I say Latrell Speedwell. That's where I get the attitude from, you know, driving to the basket. And I get the trash talk through Gary Payton, you know, going uptown. That's all we do is trash talk and let the game do the talking. You know, these gentlemen over here, they got lucky, you know, winning three games, especially Steve. You know, me and Steve, we always battling back and forth. And when Steve sees this, you know, next game I'm definitely going to get him. All right. Hello, my name is Daniel Blaylock. This is Riverside Park. This is my neighborhood park. I love this park. I've been coming here for 20 years. Um, we just won eight games out here. It's good competition. Uh, my favorite player was always John Starks. You know, he's a humble guy, and I'm a New York Knicks fan. And he, uh, he's a great player. He had a lot of hearts. You know, it's not always the best player that I appreciate. I appreciate the, the players that hustle and do the little things. Now, it's not Show just about the up. stats, it's about the hustle, the heart. They're willing to do whatever to win the game, you know? Uh, making good passes, rebounding, steals. So this is my neighborhood park, we just won eight games. And um, it's a wonderful day. You say you've been here for 20 years, how old are you? So I'm 38, and I'll be 39 this year. I know I look a lot younger. But uh, people, people tell me that all the time. Oh, but, uh, who's your yeah. basketball hero? My basketball hero, John Starks. Like I said, John Starks, he never won the championship, but he, he, was, a, he was a good leader. He inspired me so much. You know? So, yeah, it's a great day out here. I try to learn from his games, and, and I'm still a Knicks fan to this day. So hopefully we get it together, we get some nice picks, and we take it all the way. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. This is Robert Paulin, dealing with Mario's um, Productions. Um, I'm right out here at 76th Street and Riverside Drive on the three-on-three -three basketball. I'm going to introduce you to a friend of mine that's been playing for the last 40 years. His name is Aaron. Been playing basketball out here the last 40 years, pulling everything else. And here you go, Aaron. Uh, how you doing? This is a great up. Great thing that they're doing today. Um, I really enjoy it. I've been playing out here since 1986, and uh, a lot of these old, you know, a lot of the guys that's playing here have been playing for many years, and it's, it's just a great thing. Great thing. Yeah, and um, so have I. There's another man over here. Come here, Craig. Another man. Yo, Craig. I'm pulling the shades, man. Come on, come on. And my man Craig, we battle out here too. Everything up. Bayame. 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 No longer Craig Plummer. Bayame. I converted to E5 20 years ago. Well, Craig, gonna, he's going to tell you what we've been doing out here for the past 30, 40 years playing basketball. Tell me what you're doing, man. Taking care of each other's family, balling. All right, I saw your kids, little boys. All of us took care of each other's kids. All black men took care of black men's kids while we were playing ball, right? Yes, sir. That's important. That's important. That's what I want people to know what we did. All our kids were here growing up. Now they're adults. College degrees, married, the whole nine yards. We all looked out for each other's kids. Bayeme. All right. Um, we're going to go over the other side. No, sir. <laughs> Good afternoon, Chris Solano. Good afternoon, Denise, all stars. <laughs> May I ask you two questions? Um, how long have you been doing this, and what does Black Lives Matter mean to you? I've been doing it for 20 years. Black Lives Matter means to me, me life. It just means living. It means everything about just you know what we do. We wake up every day, just about everything, just like breathing and living and thinking. Black Lives Matter means so much. I could keep going on and on. <laughs> and from, from
from DJ Mario Live. We want to recommend you, and we, we've, we've been watching you for years, and we want to tell you that we support you in everything you do. Thank you. You can get back to doing what you're doing all purpose. Thank you so much. Miss All Purpose Woman, Denise Allstars, come support her, please. Diamond Videos, thank you for the support. Thank you. Have a good evening. <laughs> all right. We are in on your way. But we're going to do it in the third quarter. Nope, not this time. You got a whistle.
like you here by yourself. Come on, babies. Come on, come on. Come on, young man. Get the next one. Pretend nobody's in here. Just us babies. Just us babies. The school teacher, they're gonna put you back. You know you want to do That's going to be April 14th, April 14th, a Sunday. It is free. April 14th, 10, oh, oh, oh. Shout out my coach, shout out my mom, my dad. Um, yeah, we gonna win again, you know. We gonna win again. God did, God did. I thank my coaches, I thank my mother, I thank all my teammates for playing with me. That's all I gotta say. We gonna win the next year too. God did. Come on, anything. Let me know when. Oh, thank you very much, Diamond Video, for having us. Appreciate you. Had a great time. It was a great turnout. I can't wait to come next year or next time. I'm always available. It was a blast. Thank you very much.
how old are you? Ezekiel Lane and I'm 12 years old. Speak up, put some bass in your chest. My name is Ezekiel Lane and I'm 12 years old. Well, how old are you? My name is Landon and I'm 13. My name is Jalil and I'm 11. Speak up, what's your name? My name is Sakai and I'm 13. My name is Daniel, I'm 12. Alright, my name is Daniel. Your name is Daniel, 13. 2021? He's 12. 2021? Let's go, baby. I need this money. Yo, I need this money. I need this money. Yo, I need my money. There you go. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Give me my money. I want my money. Give me my money. Give me my money.
Oh, peace and blessings, guys. I was packing up my equipment on this young man. What's your name? Zamari. Zamari? Mm -hmm. Zamari? Damn, okay, Zamari walked over and told me I was mad funny. So what's so funny about today's gig? One thing is that, especially on free throws, the one from the so old with the ladies. She didn't walk up to everybody, especially in that free throws. Thank you, I appreciate that. Coming from coming from a young man, you know, it means a lot to me. Are you on Instagram? Yeah, yes or no, it don't matter. Yeah, I like it. Do you follow it or you don't? No. But don't forget, the video is courtesy of Pastor J. He's gonna have all the information. Pastor J, say something to me. Something yo, yo. that's inspirational. Well, first of all, this is my dude. Yeah, he walked up me on his own well, just I saying said, he had fun. I helped him one day just ask him a question and telling him to get out of his head. Because he said, I, I know how to score on all three levels, but I don't have the confidence. I said, wait a minute, repeat that again? That don't make sense. I said, get out your head. The game will dictate to you what level you're going to score from. Guess what he did that, that did first day? Tell, he no, scored about it. Let him tell it. What did you do? Scored about it. That's the first 12, 14 points in the game. 12. Tell him about who you are again. My name is Amari Walcott. And I and how old are you? I'm 14. I what school you go to? BCMS. And you know why? This video 50 years from now, right? Yes. When you gonna have when you have a beard like mine, right? Yeah. Look at his beard. You gonna have one like that? Yes. 50 and years. You probably just... Yo, give me nothing. Give me nothing. Because he was not passing. Yo, shout out to the school teacher. Shout out to the school teacher. Oh, I was a school teacher. I was a teacher. You would name you the school teacher. Yeah, because he teaches class. That's a good, that's a good name, name, name. You wanna say something to your team real quick? I go a lot of good games. But you already know I was lying once I tried to dunk on y'all. Yeah, I told you. Whoa. I do. Next time, next time. Yo, remember, that, remember that one ball right here? When I got the fast beat, I tried to throw it. Not, I had to count. I tried to throw it. Count. My arm is in the rim and everything. I tried to yeah, throw it. Damn. Yeah. This was a great game. Who's next one? Great competitive. Your yeah, next game is like next month. Around next, next month. month. Next month. Now we got um um PS298, the Panthers. They got a home game tomorrow at 3.30 and an away game. I'm not sure where that's at. They can yet. find you on Instagram. But yeah, yeah, you can find me on Instagram. And, I, and I'll holler at you and let you know. Reach out if you want to know. It's your boy, Jay Nick 12 We'll be out. Pass Take a picture day. of us. Three, two. Okay, it's your boy, Jay Nick 12 We at it again. Uh, we just had a great time. We had some great playoffs. We had some great games. And we just praying that everybody enjoyed themselves, win or lose. Uh, um, pray nobody got hurt. And let's keep it up. Let's support one another. It's about the community. It's about our men enjoying themselves and just playing their heart out, loving their game, loving the passion of it all. And watch this. If you want to learn more about what we're doing, you can reach me at uh, uh, jnick12 on my Instagram or New York Nick Grit Tape on my Instagram. And we here. We rocking out. It's your boy J Nick 12 and we out. Yeah. 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 Yeah.